Okay, I'm going to show you how to create your animated GIFs to show on the forum. Uh, I'm going to use this Sonic Mesh that I made earlier. Uh, first thing I want to do is colour this wireframe white. Okay, so I've done that. Now, the second thing I want to do is, is make it rotate. So I'm going to put an auto key. Uh, select the model and rotate. Uh, I'm going to move to frame 60 and just rotate it 360 degrees. It should rotate like that. I'm just going to open this up and make sure it's exactly 360 here. So 360. Close that. Now I want to switch show say frames on. You can do shift and F and it shows it as this box. It's gonna zoom in till it fits this area and just give it a little test that I see the whole thing here. I'm gonna adjust the output size to three twenty by 320 and again I'll zoom in a little bit so I can see this ok I'm quite happy with that now I'm going to render the frame range 0 to 59 and I'm also going to go to the renderer force wireframe and change the wireframe thickness to 2 and I can do a little render to see how it looks with no file assigned ok he's still in blue because he's got the material applied to him so I'll just apply this material here and I can change the diffuse of that to white the wireframe thickness 1.2. You can change this so that you can see it a bit clearer. That looks fine. Okay, so I'm gonna set up a file. Now click on files, go to your desktop and I created a folder called frames here so I'm just gonna de delete that and create a folder called frames and we'll just call that frame underscore and save it as a PNG so that should render frame 0 to 59 in this area with the wireframe on Okay, once you've done that, uh, you might want to close Max. So let's close that. Open up Photoshop. If you're hearing some feedback in the background, that's just because my mic volume's turned up quite high because it's late at night and I don't want to scream the house down <laughs> anyway so now we'll go to file open as and there's frame 0 so that's in your frames folder so if I just choose the first frame there and check this image sequence part down the bottom and then click open 20 frames per second that's fine I'm just going to add a layer here underneath. Just turn off the visibility of the animation layer. I'm going to fill this with black. Okay now if 
if you don't see this animation bar down here, go to your window and just make sure animation is ticked. And you should be able to slide through the animation. Now what you want to do is go to save for web and devices under your file, file menu. Uh, change your colours down to 8. You only need a few colours just to show this. Um, selective and pattern should be fine. 320 by 320. Uh, looping options, change that to forever. And you can play it here to see a preview. desktop I'll call that uh, mission rotation and just hit save and that's you you've created your animated gif showing your wireframe model that's it been previewed in Windows Explorer as if it was uh, you know, a normal GIF on some website. Usually the first time round it kind of lags but then after that it's fully loaded and it should spin quite smoothly. Ok, so that's one way to show your wireframe model. Cheers. Bye.